having said all this, why aren't I 50 points ahead, you might ask? I got this one. Hillary, you're not 50 points ahead because you're more offended by a bowl of Skittles than you are by a basket of deplorables. Donald Trump said you're not 50 points ahead because you're terrible. Everything you touch is bad. Just look at her record. Hillary, you're not 50 points ahead because young women like me, we don't want to be bossed around by the pantsuit mafia. Black people don't want to be called super predators, and Latinos don't want you as their abuela. Hillary, you're not 50 points ahead because we don't want a President Pinocchio. You're not 50 points ahead because you're so out of touch with normal Americans, you haven't driven a car since the 1990s. Your idea of road rage is fury when facts stand in the way of your yellow brick road to the White House. You haven't actually parallel parked since I was barely out of diapers. Hillary, you're not 50 points ahead because you don't even know how to swipe your own subway pass. And your outfits? Hillary, you wore a jacket. I kid you not, people. Hillary, while you were giving a speech about income inequality, you wore a carpet bag suit that cost $12,495. Hillary, you're not 50 points ahead because you call Republicans your enemies. Let me repeat that. In the same sentence that you named the Iranians, state sponsors of terrorism, as your enemy, you also called those of us who vote Republican, you called us your enemies too. You're not 50 points ahead because you call your secret service agents a-holes. You throw vases at your husband. You left four Americans to die in Benghazi to cover your own political rear end. You sold favors at the State Department. You built your own secret server to hide your crimes. You lied to the FBI. You lied to your staff. You lied to the American people. And then you lied some more. Hillary, you're not 50 points ahead because you're the evil twin of King Midas. Everything you touch magically turns to cash in your own pocket while Libya to Iran, our health care to our right to bear arms, suddenly bursts into flames fueled by corruption and deceit right before our own very eyes. And that's my final point tonight. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. I read all your tweets right after the show. And if you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com slash contact. Remember, we're coming to you primetime now at our brand new 9 p.m. Eastern time slot. If you don't have cable, we're also online on cloudtv.com. So catch Tipping Point tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern, and have a good night.